I muted myself. I'm a genius. Thought I unmuted. <laughs> I have a problem. I should not be allowed near mute buttons. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was just trying to say this. This happens like right after where we left off last time. We walked down the stairs and all these people were in Aldo's house. Uh, I wanted to run some dungeons and then I walked down into this cutscene and I went, oh, there's story. So I turned off the game so that I didn't skip it. So, uh, let me, uh, uh, wow, it's not just Cyrus. What are you all doing here? After we returned to our respective time periods, we found the situation unsatisfactory, lacking in closure. It's great to see you again, Aldo. You up for another journey through space and time? Must feel it, too. You still want to help him, right? Well, you're gonna need our help. I don't know how we'll do it yet, but there has to be a way to save Eden. That's right. Even I can't bear to end my alliance with you until this problem has been put to rest. We have to find a new future, one in which Eden is able to live alongside us. Nipa. Nispa? Nispa. He is just lurking back here. How good we get to help Eden. Yes. Thanks, everybody, but where do we even start? For now, we should travel around and see what information we can find. There are plenty of places we haven't explored. The Synth Hydra can take us. It's as good a plan as any other. Let's go find that perfect future. Aldo. Vine, something wrong. A voice. I can hear Altena's voice. What? How is that possible? I mean, Altena's... Altena got Thanos snapped. I don't know, but I'm sure it's her. Altena is still alive. She's out there somewhere. I don't know about that. You know, there is something about our fight with Altena that's been bugging me. All Oti has followed me. Okay. Did some kind of weird green light appear before she disappeared? That have been Fine's Geo Prisma protecting her. Maybe, but I thought Fine couldn't control her powers back then. A similar phenomenon occurred when we defeated Gildan, Gildan, aka the Beast King. At that time, Fine's conscience mind, conscious mind had been sealed. Her powers may have been manifesting subconsciously without her realizing. It would not be beyond the Geoprisma to be able to reconstruct a living organism one particle at a time. Performing such a miracle to save her friend's brother, and never even knowing it. Rather poetic in a way. So both Gildna and Altena truly could still be alive and well in this world. Altena. Aldo, please. I think Altena's in trouble. Fine? If you won't help me, I'll look for her myself. I'll travel all over the world if I have to. I may not have my Geoprisma powers anymore. Maui, I can't, I can't see. But I won't let that stop me. Da, da, da. Fine, have it your way. I mean, trying to get her to stay at home has been an utter failure, so... We may as well have her come with us. Really? You mean it? Cat getting in the way? Yes, cat is getting in the way. Cat is now standing on my mouse cord. Cat! Oh, well, there's her tail. You're not going to change your mind no matter what I say. Besides, I owe Altena. She was willing to let herself be destroyed if it meant saving you. She's the one who needs our help this time. There's no way I can turn my back on her. Right, thanks, Aldo. Fine, joined your party. Poor Fine will be stuck as a four star until about chapter 90. Yes, we'd better get going. Is everybody ready? You bet. Next stop, another world and another future. Like, we gotta make sure you remember that this game is about time traveling and such. This cat has brought us the mail. Look at it, such a beautiful cat. I don't know what that is, but we can't do it apparently. Friends to another end of time. Okay, that's two knights and the holy sword. Okay, we got to clear a different set before to do whatever that is. When I thought you were gone, I had no idea how I was going to carry on. Promise me you won't ever leave me like that again. Cross your heart. Pain Fine's sandwiches. You know, the first time I played this game, uh, you start the game with Fine's sandwiches as your food. I did not eat them until I rescued her. So I never used food until I- until she was here. And until I beat the main story. 
the original main story. I don't think I was the only one either. I guess we'll go, uh, we'll go take a look for, uh, gotta add a little difficulty. Uh, because I never used it, I didn't, and I'm very bad at reading the tutorials, I didn't really know what food was for. <laughs> and once I used it, I was like, man, I've been really missing out. Oh, I was gonna... Oh, we slot her in whenever we need someone else. Oh. Now we'll put Cyrus in the front. We'll dump... Oops. We'll dump Nakoko. Because we just bring her in when we need someone strong. And we'll, we'll plop Fine in here. Let her come on the adventure. Not Vive or Nonold. I do not like Nonold or Palm. I don't like Palm either. She's annoying. Fine. There we go. Now she can come on our adventure with us. That. Why is it sparkly? Oh, this must be the new update thing. Yeah. Oh, hey, we can actually play that, but we're not going to right now. I think we just needed to compl complete chapter 25, which I think we did. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing to find Altena? Friends to another end of time. Not sure. Check this. Nope. Okay, that's just that's just our um yeah, that's just our mail. A special item because of the update. Records. Let's go to the map. At least go check out check in on Alpha and I, I guess. Poor old man is stuck walking grumpily. Oh. Oh, is the next the next part of the story is locked behind two knights and the holy sword. Goodness. I don't know how all these things are interconnected because I kind of just played them as they came out back in the day, so it didn't really matter what was required for things. Um I guess we'll start two knights and the holy sword then. I was wanting to uh and do some other things, but I do I do want to be able to start the next part of the, the main story. You're a boomer. I am a boomer. I'm very much a boomer. I, I really want to be able to get to... I want to be able to start the uh, ogre, ogre Wars, I think is what it's called. Magic Knight Deirdre. A group of Miglan's knights is particularly late returning. Apparently it has something to do with a certain infamous mercenary. Deirdre? Deirdre? I'm not sure how to say it. Aren't you Aldo, Slayer of the Beast King? Are you heading to the Carrick Swampland by any chance? Why, do you need something from there? Sorry to bother you with this, a small-scale beast incident took place there a short while ago. The unit that was sent to deal with it hasn't returned yet, and I'm beginning to worry. Why don't you go check it yourself? I would if I could, but I cannot leave my post. I mean, that does make sense, although he's a guard. He can't just wander off. Okay, I'll go and take a look for you. Thank you, kind sir. Can you describe them to me, just so I know who I'm looking for? Let's look for a purple-haired female mercenary. Can't miss her. If only she hadn't been with my troop. Why, is she some kind of troublemaker? Well, yes and no. I don't know all the details, to be honest. She's an amazing warrior, quickly making a name for herself. That's good, though. Fighting ability is to be envied, sure enough. There are disconcerting rumors about her. She refuses to follow orders, and the court mage claims she's dabbled in the dark arts. I'm worried that the late return of the troop has something to do with her. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. Purple-haired mercenary should be easy enough to spot. I'll see you later. Alright, off to the Carrick Swampland. Sounds like we're getting another person. Or indeed. Every one of the side stories has like a, uh, a character you get from it. Some of them are better than others. Once you 
completely level her up, which does require completing another side story. Deirdre is very strong. Deirdre? You said the name Deirdre or Deirdre? I, I really don't know. Maybe both. Okay. Going back to their normal mob attacking uh, setup. Keep it up. Yes, you level up, Fine. You sit in the back line and come strong. Not really. You're a long way off from being strong, poor Fine. There's the purple haired lady. And beasts, they're still in battle. Persistent pests, give us a break. Thought I'd let you get away? Unlike those knights, I don't give up so easily. Deirdre, I repeat, cease the pursuit. We've been ordered to avoid prolonged fighting and report back as soon as possible. You call this prolonged fighting? What do you take me for? This is just a warm up. Besides, I can't stand being ordered around as if I couldn't make decisions for myself. If you're too scared, why don't you leave me to deal with the beasts while you go back to the castle and hide under your bed? How dare you talk like this to your commander? You guys aren't much of a team, huh? Looks like you can't count on their support, lady. She's so purple. She is. She's got purple armor, purple cape, hair. I'm getting bored here. Come on, entertain me. Geek. The other guys turned out to be a bunch of chickens, so I guess it's just you and me. Which is just fine as far as I'm concerned. Or are you also a chicken? Cluck, cluck. What? You want to die so badly, you crazy woman? You're gonna get it. Are we gonna summon something? Oh, yes. Gonna have a challenge. Is it gonna be Chimera? It is a Chimera. I do not like Chimeras. Mostly because I had a lot hard time dealing with them back in the day. You'll regret not heeding your wise commander's advice. <laughs> Man, the Chimera you summoned just owned him. Oh, so you do have some fight in you. Perfect. I was thinking you'd be another disappointment. Beasts are going all out. This is too much for us. Retreat. Ah. This is when it gets good. My demon sword is starving for the blood of a worthwhile opponent. This is madness. We will retreat to the castle at once. Yes, sir. Cowards. She's all on her own. Go help her, then. And she's very purple. We can't leave someone that purple to fight alone. It's too dangerous to fight them alone. I'll help you out. Where did you spring from? You don't look like a knight. Are you just some wayfarer with good intentions? Let's save the talking for later. I'll distract the enemy while you look for an opening to attack. I'm pretty sure what that really means is that Tiramis is gonna own it. Go Tiramis! Yep. Good for you, Tiramis. You're the best. I mean, that's base that is basically what Aldo is. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Got you. The cutscene can pretend that they killed it, but it was really Tiramis. Warg. Nice one. Thanks, stranger. That battle might have gotten a lot messier, if not for you. Tiramis is hilariously OP. Indeed. That is part of the reason I want to pro progress the main story more, too. I want to be able to uh, unlock the third level of that ability so that she can deal. I think her, her damage caps at 300,000 or something like that. Once you get it all maxed out. Time to feed my dear pet. Feast on this foe, ver ver whale. Is it ver whale? I'm gonna call it ver whale. Dot dot dot. Not good enough. For one spoiled demon sword. You called it Vera Whale. Vera Wheel? Is it a genuine demon sword? Post all the fake demon swords, I guess. You bet. Its power has waned somewhat, though. You don't normally see Miglance knights wielding weapons like that. They may fight for them, but I'm no knight, and it offends me to be lumped together with them. Foolish idealists believing in justice and chivalry. Good luck protecting anyone when you only fight honorably against enemies who don't. 
seem to really hate the knights and their moral code. Why did you join the order? I didn't join it. I'm a freelancer offering my services at a price. There's nothing more to it than that. I get that, but why would you associate with people you can't stand? Call for my demon sword. I want to restore its full power, and for that I need quality beast blood. I figured joining these guys would be a sure way to cross paths with powerful beasts and monsters. Is there any particular reason you want to restore this sword's power? Well, it's nothing concrete. I just have this bad feeling that if I don't hurry with it, I'll regret it. Something terrible will happen. Even though, to be honest, I have nothing left to lose. By the way, you seem like a seasoned fighter yourself. Playing monsters is nothing new to you. You're not as airheaded as you look, huh? What's your name? I'm Aldo from Baruoki. Comment about my looks was unnecessary, by the way. I'm Deirdre. She sounds mildly possessed. <laughs> nah, just her sword is possessed. Aldo, let me join you in your travels. Wait, what? Did I hear that right? Don't worry, I won't be a burden to you. Leave any beasts you come across to me. Okay, there's no harm in having one more companion on my journey. First, we need to report back to the Royal Order about this battle. Yeah, all right, if you insist. Wait a bit longer, Farewell. You'll have your fill of beast blood soon. Deirdre has joined our party as a guest. Because side characters uh, join as guests. For they don't become permanent party members for later. Time to run back to that guard. I have to put Helena in that slot in the party when we're walking around. Because otherwise she covers up people. She could probably go in the back as well. But I like to keep my mob clearer there. Aramis gets to go there. We fight for the same cause. Oh, lovely environments. Dang, I forgot how like interconnected with the main story the uh, side stories are. The garden has disappeared. The soldier who was posted here is gone. Found something better to do, I guess. So much for a sense of duty. Not about to go out of my way to find him just to report in. If you're looking for the guard, he's gone to the barracks with the recently arrived troops. Uh huh? Okay, I don't want to deal with her. Annabelle. But I smelled something bad. As expected, here's Deirdre with her rotten morals. Oh my, if it isn't Miss Perfect Palette, always ready with a kind word. Taunt me all you like, it's useless. I was merely paying you back in your own coin. Looks could kill. You turned your back on your comrade the commander's orders again. We had a difference in opinion regarding the objective of the mission and the risk assessment. I'm growing tired of your sophistries. It was insubordination, plain and simple. You pushed the beasts too far and they summoned a fearsome, mon fearsome monster, didn't they? Now I've been asked to slay it. You mess up and I end up having to clean up after you. But orders are orders. I always fulfill my duty. Hear me, you might want to swallow your words. You've painted yourself such a martyr, all for nothing. What do you mean? You're making wrong assumptions, Lady Perfect Paladin. Enlighten her, Aldo. But me? Uh, so, in a nutshell, the Chimera's gone. Gone? Did it escape from the Carrick Swampland? We must alert the local villagers to the danger. No, we killed it. Dealt the finishing blow myself, so you can be sure it's dead. You got all worked up for nothing. Better let the commander know, eh? Don't try taking to take credit for my glorious victory. Excuse me. Unlike you, I have principles. Girls, keep it down. They can hear you in the next town over. It's Sora! You're one of Aldo's friends, aren't you? That's right. My name's Soira. Good to be so spirited, but do you really want everyone in town to hear you arguing? Allies, so play nice together. I really, really like Sora's design. Unfortunately, her English voice is terrible. So sorry, Soira. Now I kind of feel bad about it. She may have stabbed what remained of its corpse after Tiramis obliterated it. Uh, that is probably what happened. It was unbecoming of me to lose my nerve like that. It's only you, Deirdre, that really makes me snap. My blood starts boiling the moment I see your face. What a coincidence, you have a gift for setting off my temper too. 
Hem, don't start this all over again. True victory is only achieved through righteous means. As long as you're with our order, live by its principles. You're out of touch with reality, but good luck with that chivalrous approach. What did you say? Nothing. Just muttering to myself. You guys pay me, I do my job. That's all there is to it. Sawyer, she's just like stuck standing here even though she's done talking. You shall have more to say. What happened between the two of you to make each other hate us? Make you hate each other so much? It was hate at first sight. We just have completely incompatible worldviews. Uh, okay, if you say so. Aha, it's all just friendly teasing, I'm sure. I need not have worried. Well then, I'm off to the well for a nap now. Bye. Sleep inside a well? It's the ideal nap spot. Nice and cool on a hot summer day with the clear blue sky visible up above. So nice. Nights like this, I worry for the future of this country. We're one to talk. I won't send you on another mission until you fix that attitude. Until then, the only work I have for you is routine patrols. Not interested in your missions anyway. From now on, I'll be joining Aldo. Better chances of encountering powerful beasts. These two just can't have a civilized conversation. Aren't you going to have a nap, Soira? Um, yes. I gave up on sleeping in the well after all. The growling is a bit unsettling. Growling? It's coming from, like, under the ground. It gets quite loud in the well. Now try to tell me that's not weird. Any idea what it might be? Maybe. It's more of a gut feeling. Mind coming along to check it out. Ah, Soira. She's a four-star tank, so she is not good. But I wish they would give her another style or a five-star version or something. Because she looks so dang cool. Actually, not another style, because then they'd change her look. This is the well Soiro is talking about. It is nice and cool down here, but it wouldn't ever occur to me to climb in and sleep. Hmm. <laughs> can't hear any growling, though. Maybe it was just a dream. Freaking massive well. Yeah, all the wells here are really massive, and also they just have stone on the bottom. Uh, so I don't really understand how they function as wells. What were you hoping to find here? It reminded me of a rumor I heard a while ago. I didn't think much of it before. Supposedly, there's a huge labyrinth beneath Migna Miglant's castle. It could just be a folktale. When I heard it, it I just rolled my eyes. Yeah, that ain't right, indeed. Nearly forget, forgot about it, but now I think there may be something to it. The story changes slightly depending on who's telling it. Some say that it's hidden treasure, others that it was built to house a terrifying monster. The more a rumor goes around, the further from the truth it gets. Yes, however, all these rumors have one thing in common. And that is... Maybe they mean... Aquifer? 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 I mean, I think, I think, I don't know what an aquifer is. I'm sorry. Please enlighten me. It's just a tiny detail, but all the more remarkable that this would be one, be the one consistent element. The underground labyrinth is huge. The castle itself isn't all that big. So if it really is huge, then it might not just stretch under the castle, but under the whole castle town. Are you serious? Let's just smack that wall down with her sword. There we go. This wall made an empty sound when I knocked on it wasn't just a local myth after all. This is the entrance to the labyrinth? Or could it just be a tunnel for workers servicing the well? I think they definitely mean these are wells. They just have a profound misunderstanding of what a well is. Or more likely, they're just like, who cares what a well is supposed to be? This, this is a fantasy game where you go climbing in every well you see. An underground water storage, usually like a cavern or sometimes a man-made thing. Okay. Yeah, that would make more sense, uh, but that's not what it is. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Come on, Aldo. Into the um, labyrinth we go. Looks pretty big. Which corrobor corroborates the rumors. I wonder what else is true. Well... Presumably there's a large monster. Aha! A monster, just like in the stories. Not your regular neighborhood nuisance kind of monster. Watch out. 
Awesome, this may be just what I need to awaken my bear whale. Brorg. Deirdre, I knew you'd be here. This monstrosity was living under the castle all this time. He's my prey, Annabelle. You keep your hands off him. I can sense your hatred, monster, your blind rage, your guilt. What a rich feast you'll make for my sword. De Devour him, Verwheel. Do we also acquire Annabelle? No, Annabelle is a, uh, a gacha character. We'd have to pull her. What the? Does he not feel pain at all? Heh, not a problem. It'll make an even better sacrifice for my demon sword. It's frustrating to watch this farce. Hey, you stay out of it. I cannot allow this monster to escape. You stay back and watch as I make short work of it. Yeah. That's right. Each of the um, episodes usually has like a free character, and the early ones have some three-star characters, and then there's also a five-star character that comes with it. Um, in this case, Annabelle. A five-star character that you have to pull. It's lost its balance. You've been relying on your sword's demonic power so much, your skill's gone rusty. Don't get cocky just because you landed one good hit. Gotcha? Mm, yes. Stop arguing and strike before you have a chance to recover. Time for Tiramis to step in where all of you weaklings fail. Let's keep it up! All right, Bear Whale, here's your prey. Devour its dark soul. Er, not sure why the suit of, like, possessed armor is talking. Much challenge, much wow. Yes, indeed, very challenging. Some of this is lower level because we could have started this quite this uh, side quest quite a while back. Probably should have. <laughs> I want to get to the point where we've started the Ogre Wars, and then and then I'll let. I'll, I'll let some of you people pick what, what we work on. Perfect, this is it. Oh yes, Verwheel has awakened. Oh, Won't ever need your help again, Annabelle. Don't tell me you lured this monster out of the depths of the labyrinth just for the sake of your sword. So what if I did? Did it not occur to you what havoc would have ensued if it escaped? Put the townsfolk in danger. That's true, I won't deny it. Those who have had a rough life know better than to waste time worrying about others. Monster is dead. No one's been hurt. You're getting worked up over nothing. Easy to say that when the result happened to be positive. That was not guaranteed. We, we have tier so it was guaranteed. But they, they are not capable of not acknowledging the existence of Tiramis. I see. Now, I see now that you're too irresponsible to be given a free hand ever. I will be reporting all of this to the Knight Commander. Deirdre, you'd be much better off without provoking her at every chance. It's none of your business, although Annabelle and I will never get along. That's a fact. Here's poking my nose. Very annoying. Dot dot dot. Now that my sword has awakened, I have no reason to stay here. Huh? Very well. Ah, uh, you're still thirsty for more. What a greedy demon sword you are. What's the matter, Deirdre? Changed my mind. Going to take another look in the labyrinth. Time to explore the labyrinth. I like all the little purple lights. It's a very purple location. You will fall to my blade. Fortunately, I think they are. I think they're too high at level for her to be able to like them out. Oh, no, no. 5,000 damage does it. Have to okay. Keep going. Conservation of mana! Oh, no, I didn't want to leave. Oh, I made a huge mistake. Let me back. Let me back in. Thank you. Uh, Midland's Labyrinth, B1. I guess it's like basement one. Run down all these corridors and... Look for treasure, I guess. There's probably some treasure in these corridors. These guys drop anything? They don't drop anything. Very disappointing. Miglant's magic. Oh yeah, for side quests, or um, what are these called? Not side quests. Episodes, that's what these are. For episodes, you have to collect, um, like a particular... 
kind of currency for each of them, and you'll need Time certain amounts of it at certain points. Out. Well, for some of the older ones, at least. I don't think the new ones do that anymore. Which is nice, because it would sometimes mean you had to do quite a bit of grinding. Especially in Cyrus's episode. Um... But yeah, so we'll need enough of that Minglands magic to advance at certain points. I could have handled it myself. Yeah, see, these guys don't drop anything, but we get some Minglands magic when they die. I guess technically they drop that. Probably a little concerning. There's a bunch of ghosts, armor, plants, and zombies running around under the city. I could have handled it myself. At least I, I would be. I would be a little bit worried. Magic times 50. The ghosts are very cute. Brace yourselves. They do have little little cube ghost faces. Then we just got reskinned uh, Lizzie's and Plum Goblins. Time is a luxury we don't have. There's a lot of like recolored enemies. Why are the cubes? I don't know. Someone was like, you know what'd be cool? Cube ghosts. And then they made it happen? That that's the only reasoning I can come up with. I am why am I so short? I need to put my chair up. There we go. Now I'm less short. Who's poking my face? Very annoying. You weren't wrong. Brace yourselves. Ooh. 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 Excuse me. I was a little late to start my stream because um I slept in until 1.38. And then I woke up and I was like, what time is it? And then I was like, oh gosh! I'm supposed to stream in like 20 minutes. Um But I managed. I man I managed to only start a little late. These poor, poor dungeon, poor, uh, not dungeon, poor, um, labyrinth enemies stand no chance. That is most admirable. Oh, there's, uh, there's a horror in here, and it looks like we can take it on as well. I won't hold back. We might switch to our other team to let them take it on, and, uh, Tiramis regen some of her MP. Cyrus. Look at him run. Look at his little feet. Why is he so cute? I won't hold back. May not hold back, although, but uh, you're not gonna get the chance to attack either. Tyrannus is too powerful. I mean, we were starting to have problems at the very end of the story. Those uh, those stupid mist golems. They they survived. Clearly we need to get more spirit for me. No one can survive. I believe once she's fully fully leveled leveled we and equipped. Keep going. Um I don't think there's any mobs in the game that actually can survive her attack. Main issue then is that some of them are faster than her, so she'll take some damage. Hey, Let's see. I don't you know why I thought I saw that. To my blade. No one can defeat a dragon summoner! Sounds most excellent. Da, da, da. You love this cat, it's so cute. I like the purple plum goblins as well. Just cause... Every, everything here is very purple. I approve. I approve of how purple this area is. Oh wait, we should also be running Deirdre. I forgot about her. Die. In fact, let's set up our whole team for this actually. Because most of the story characters aren't involved in this episode. What we want is Eglant's castle team. Party four, you're going to become the two knights. And then we're going to chuck everyone a tier mess, I believe. Well, we'll put Aldo in. Bird? Aldo's probably our high- yeah, he's our highest level sword character. 
throwing Deirdre. It's, it's her thing, after all. Uh, we'll throw Soira in the back line so we don't have to listen to her talk. Well, maybe I'll throw her in the front line and see if... See if I can bear listening to her voice. I don't know if I can. Okay, who else do we have for me? I guess we've got Bree now. You know, is a sword character. I don't know if he's in this episode. But we'll grab him anyway. Actually, wait, I might be able to look at who's in this, in this episode. Uh, be under records? We want episodes? The episode we're working on is Two Knights and the Holy Sword. Gallery of Dreams. What details? Opens it in a tab. Board list. So character. This does not tell me which characters it cares about. Maybe we'll go to Gallery of Dreams. Yeah, see, this is where, um... I don't know what this is, but apparently we can do it. We can pick one of these people. We already have all of these people. The pry, because... I forgot about that. Such a surprise. We encountered Pry. Apparently our Pry was three stars, so... That helps. Okay, that's it. Cheap. Cheap guaranteed five star. Yeah, see, all the, all the episode, um... This is like a the, all the characters with no rate up on a particular character. This is the one. It's okay. Miu and Nero, apparently. So we do have them. We'll throw them in the party. At least I think we have them. I know we have Miu. I don't know if we have Nero. I've gotten a lot. We don't have Nero. I'm used to getting getting a lot of Nero because he's got so much shadow on him account. The fourth star. Got Miu. There we go. Got our team of two knights people going now. Let's see how they can handle this horror because apparently it's uh sounds like a Roman Emperor. Those who wish to die, it does, it does. He is in fact punch a punchy man from the east. Fist, fist user. Let's keep it up. We did twenty cube ghosts. Let's see oh, if we can prevent our poor little folks from wiping. So difficult. Up you out. Power down. Yeah. Oh dear, we're running low on him. Far from ideal. Aldo? Hold down the fort? Well, Tiramis uh, regions. Luckily, this guy's actually a lower level, level than Aldo, so... Okay, back to the front line. Don't underestimate what a dragon summoner can do! Wind dragon's time. So let's get that power debuff going again, if we can. Okay, we got another dragons. Okay, all all is well. We have to keep going. Sora and Deirdre may have been punched to oblivion, but uh, that was fine. We won anyway. I can't remember which of these stairs we Brace came yourselves. from. Oh gosh, Sawyer, why? Why are you so annoying sounding? You're going into the back line because I don't want to listen to you. Oh, but me, me is annoying too. We'll just bring Breen out of the front. We don't even need Breen up. We can actually just run whoever we want here. We'll run Victor because he has a he has a clear. 
ability. And I want to level him. Pretty good. So his other style is really good. We don't have that. Why is her voice so wretched? I don't know. And it makes me really sad. Forgot to make extra use his clearing ability. <laughs> It, it really depresses me because I love her design. I, I love Sawyer's design. She looks so cool. And then her voice is just so... ...that. Right now... Where we can- no, this is where we can. The labyrinth is truly confusing. I cannot I tell which way is down and which way is up. That's really from the inability to remember which- which- which one of Let's which the uh, little symbols are. Because see, the symbols for going up and down are different. I just forget which one's which. So I, I feel like this is a this is a user error. The, the labyrinth really isn't that bad. Get on your knees and surrender. As Victor no runs out of mana, we'll uh, probably eat some food. On B three now. We actually probably can use some other wave clearers as well. Aldo, what is your, what is your attack? But he can almost wait for there. Well, he used a boss magic though. Fighting the, uh, the horror. That's okay. He's getting strong. I need to run his dungeon somewhere to get some light for him. Go for Saurus. I won't hold back. Hey, can you help me? Uh... I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Lightning speed. Take that! What is lost can never return, yet I still fight. What is this way? Look, there's some more loot. Although the loot here is all just Midland's magic. But we need it to progress the episode, so. Uh, we get bonuses, uh, we get bonus magic if we uh, have the episode characters. Unfortunately, I think we get the most for um, You're a fool to challenge me. having the five-star character, which is Annabelle, which I do not believe we have. I should check, yes, but I'm, I'm pretty awesome. sure we don't have Annabelle. How can you activate Piercing Zone on ES Skiha? You're new. Um... I don't have Ias Skiha, but I would assume it's either attached to an ability she has, or it's on her Valor chant, so it activates when you swap her in. Most of the, most of the uh, zones are on a Valor chant, so you have to switch them in to activate it. But there are a couple where it's on an ability that you have to use instead to activate it. I don't know if that, that solves your problem, but that is, that is my knowledge of it. That's where we're supposed to be on. These guys are actually pretty good. Unfortunately, so are uh, so is Deirdre. <laughs> Take a lot of damage here. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. We're gonna finish exploring this level of the uh, labyrinth, and then we're gonna go over and talk to the door. I don't think you actually call it talking to the door, but that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it talking to the door. Poor Deirdre, she's down again. She's never gonna go up levels because I keep letting her die. Yes, that was awesome. But all is well. We are making progress. Okay, we've almost finished exploring floor three. Dang, there's so many. I shall take your soul Bullying the demon sword. girl. So weak! They decide to hit her, she just goes down because she died already once. Now she's just stuck on one HP. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. And actually our main 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 characters are up to like level 40 now, so even the ones who are uh three stars, well they they're still not good, but they don't die quite so easily anymore. I shall take your soul with my sword. Her voice is fine. Oh. 
is done. Goodness. She's also the highest level, so if I swapped her with anyone else on the backline, they'd just die faster than her. Well, once we eat food, it'll be better, because it was the horror that wiped her out. She'd actually be alright, I believe, against, um... Brace yourselves. Against these guys, if she weren't on 1 HP. Oh, good. I always appreciate when they decide not to smack her. We have to keep going. So that she can get that XP, because I don't believe they get any XP if they die down when the battle ends. Okay, we'll do a heal, because there could be a boss here. Eat Phoenix sandwiches. Made with Phoenix's secret ingredient, love. This would taste like it. Time to check out this here door. Another dead end. Looks like it. No, wait. There's something here. Yeah, this is this is very clearly unusual. It's a door. Hmm, won't budge. It must be locked somehow. Hate to interrupt you when you're having so much fun, but what if it's a trap? Prove yourself. Who's there? Oh look, that's like gear wheel. What is it? Did you hear something? Never noticed that before. <laughs> Prove your strength if you want to know the truth. Prove my strength. Deirdre? You not hear that voice. It told me I have to prove my strength to learn the truth. I haven't heard a thing. Maybe the demon sword is the key. Waking it was only the first step. Thanks for help. I'm, I'm happy I was able to help you. Uh, at least I hope I was. It needs to feed on more monsters. Luckily, there's plenty in the labyrinth. Yeah, see, we gotta collect, um... We gotta collect the magic, but we might have enough because the first one is pretty cheap. So, what now? Hold on, let me feed the collected magic power to Veerwell. animation now. That is a concerning blow around the sword. There we go. This is how I'll prove my strength and get that door open. The door is causing an earthquake. Ah, no, it's summoning something. It's a mist golem! Is this a test of the Demon Sword's power, then? We're going to pass this test with blind colors. How's this? I think Tiramis is, in fact, going to pass this test. Okay, this is actually a boss, so... Uh, there we go, we'll debuff. Oh yeah, Tiramis will be able to own this easy. Ah, oh, Tiramis, truly, you are- you are the greatest. That's a lot of magic da not magic damage, that's a lot of magic! I glance magic. Tiramis is the best AoE, in your opinion. You're certainly doing an awful lot of hard work for us. You have proven your strength. You may see a fragment of the truth. Er, what's going on? What are these visions? Demon sword. Tremendous power. Life or death certain. Erg, arg. Deirdre, are you alright? I'm fine. I just saw something strange. Hmm. Don't push yourself too hard. First pull you did, you got her at a natural full 5 star, so she had all her classes unlocked, but not her skills. Yeah. We pulled her as a 5 star. We got the door open, and that's good for now. Let's head back to the town and take a break. I don't need a break. Er, I, I think you do, Deirdre. Listen to me, Deirdre. Who's there? Knight. Was it you who discovered the entrance to this labyrinth? Now under the royal order's juris jurisdiction. You must leave immediately. Don't boss me around. I must find the truth. Good you found us, soldier. My friend here has been poisoned by a monster. Can you help me carry her? 
What the heck? Although you traitor. Ah, I see, of course. I don't mind helping you. Going back up to town? Yeah. Your concern for my well-being is, frankly, annoying and unnecessary. Oh, huh. thank you for following, your Esther. Oh yeah, your concern for my well-being is, frankly, annoying and unnecessary, Aldo. Sorry about that, but you are in no state to keep going on. No matter, what's done is done. I'll rest up and make preparations for the next trip down the labyrinth. And Aldo, you're now as deeply involved in this mystery as I am. You'll help me unravel it, won't you? I think you owe me for having that soldier drag me out of the labyrinth. Deirdre officially joined the party. What was the labyrinth door trying to tell me back then? What was the meaning of that vision? Labyrinth. Is going on in the labyrinth? Help. Where am I? Somebody help, please. Test complete. You're probably not as far in the main story as I am at the moment. Uh, we just finished, um... The main story from launch now we're doing the uh, the two nights because we can't start the next part until we finish it that's pretty much the gist of what's going on here I, do. I mean i have completed it before that's where we are here something wrong deirdre you looked out of it for a moment there yeah, you're not that far, you're just entering the Vortex. Ah, uh, yeah, we were doing that the other day. It was a, it was a good time. Uh, the, the, the very end of that, though, was when, when poor Tiramis started to finally have trouble with enemies. Nothing to worry about. Something's been on my mind, that's all. Remember when I had that strange vision? Demon Sword, tremendous power. Life when death certain. I've been having this feeling of unease ever since then. Can't shake it off. Strongest character you have at the moment is level 60. You're doing a lot better about leveling your characters than I am. I've been not leveling them that well, so a lot of them are underleveled. You had a vision? You mean that weird door stuff you were saying? The weird stuff you were saying at that door. Sorry. That's Tira. Yeah, Tira is my highest level character too. I think she's level 58. Seven. Okay. Yeah, sorry for being so vague, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I saw a woman wearing a hooded cloak. Maybe we need to find her to progress. Honestly, I feel like as long as you have, you know, a good level Tiramis and some people to uh, support her, she, she can handle the entire uh, beginning main story pretty well. You don't know who she might be. Nope, I don't think I've ever met her. Wrecking my brain, but nothing. You think we can find some clues about her identity in the labyrinth? Don't mind lending you a hand. Thanks, there's a problem though. I peeked over the edge of the well earlier and saw a guard in front of the tunnel entrance. I think Annabelle stationed him there just to make my life more difficult. You may have to use force. You hire a mercenary and next thing you know, she's planning to brutalize a fellow soldier. Ah, so that's why I suddenly got a headache. Your presence is all it takes. Erg. Why does it hurt so much? It's never been this bad before. Your healer is Palm at the moment, but still working on her as well, so she has more than one heal because of a symphony quest. I haven't done the symphony This on the symphony. Some good characters in the symphony. They're quite the headache from my point of view, always causing trouble. I see, my intuition was right when assigning a guard. I thwarted your dangerous plans, no doubt. I'm not going to let you selfishly imperil innocent civilians with your reckless behavior. I hate dealing with stiff-necked paladins. He has a point, you know. Why don't we try to think of another way? Captain Annabelle. What is it? You were ordered to guard the tunnel in the well. I won't go into detail, but it's for the Persona 5 one. Yes. Oh, there's some, there's some great characters. The, 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 the Persona quests have some good characters. 
Please forgive me, Captain. I was approached by a strange woman in a hooded cloak, and she cast a spell on me. Woman from Deirdre's vision. I fainted. I'm not sure for how long. She may have entered the labyrinth. Sorry I have failed to fulfill my duty. It was my oversight. I did not expect anyone but you to try to trespass into the labyrinth. Well, we all make mistakes. Arrogant paladins more than others. Well, are you going to capture her or what? Of course, I will apprehend the trespasser. Underground is part of the royal castle. No unauthorized civilians are allowed inside. You report to the knight commander, I will go after the hooded woman. Yes, sir. What really peeves me off is that this hooded wench got in there before me. That's what you're upset about? Meh. Anyway, thanks to her, that pesky guard's gone. And we get access to the labyrinth, so all's good. Back into the labyrinth we go. And I believe the next door will be a bit of a stopping point, because... Sticking point, I guess is what I really mean, because... We're gonna need to probably collect some uh, of Miglan's magic, so... I'll have to run the dungeon for that. Uh, where's the... Way down is over there. Run through the labyrinth. At least we Those should have decent peace. We'll let Victor clear the no, no Tiramis. You don't get to use up your mana yet. Actually, we probably can just hit them because these guys are such a low level. Poor things. I was apparently supposed to start this quite a while back. I really wanted to finish the uh, first part of the main story. <laughs> Those who wish to die, come at me. Come on, you guys got this. Yeah, good work. It's nice not needing to rely on Tiramis all the time. Or my wave, or not wave, my uh, enemy Claire. Now in some of the weak enemies, we can actually just smack. I had someone other than Victor on the front. I guess that might be better because he has to do his lunatic. Thing. If he doesn't hit on the first turn. But we could swap in. Hmm. Who could we swap in for Victor? Someone who can smack. Back these people down. Wanted to check the sword. Who do we have for sword? Uh, we don't have Annabelle. That doesn't matter. And Cyrus. Oh, actually, no. I know who we want. I want to run Nika. I want to level her up. She's cool. She has purple hair. And it's not even red purple. It's like a blue purple, which is the best kind of purple in my humble opinion. Ugh. My headache is even worse down here. Is it the effect of all the magic power stored in my sword? You're looking very pale. Maybe you should give up on chasing after this hooded, wood hooded woman. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not giving up until my sword is restored to its full power. What more do you need to do? You passed the trial of strength. I did collect enough magic power to prove my strength. But now my sword is buzzing with it and there's no release. I just can't unleash it. Power is sealed inside, you mean? Yes, and I bet this hooded woman knows how to break the seal. This all sounds a bit crazy. And anyway, do you really need to go all through through all of this trouble? Even without the demon sword, you're still a great fighter. Eh. Deirdre? Don't seriously think so. You saw how the battle with the labyrinth monster went. It was hard-pressed to deal any damage while Annabelle just took one swing and the battle was as good as one. I don't have her skill, sadly. All I've got is my demon sword, but even that needs to be made stronger before I'm any good. You look down on me now. I'm a pathetic fighter, compensating for poor sword skills with an enchanted blade. Why would I look down on you? Live by what you believe in, using any means you've got to protect people. I remember you calling those who stick to just and chivalrous, chivalrous ways of fighting foolish idealists. Well, yes, but... Nothing wrong with wielding a demon sword if it's for a good good cause, in my opinion. I mean, I guess he does- he does have a ogre rancor, so... 
not some goody two-shoes, Aldo. I've done things that earned me hatred and contempt, but I had no other choice if I was to survive. It's me, you. I'm starting to feel really uneasy about this. I've wandered so far in. No one apart from the royal family should know about the secret of this labyrinth, but what if... Hmm. Maybe I've already passed by the hooded woman without realizing. She might be closer than it seems. Your name's Miyu, isn't it? Don't think so, Miyu. I sense impatience in my demon sword, urging us to go further. Ah, okay. The place should be sealed, but it's still a worry. I hope that woman hasn't got as far as that room. Oh. What's the matter, Miyu? Well, I heard a child crying for help. In here, a child is lost in this labyrinth? Aldo, don't forget what the guard said. The hooded woman used magic on him. Possible that this is just another trick of hers. I hope so. It'd be terrible if some kid was really down here. Yes, so in any case, we should hurry and find that woman. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, we just gotta... Further into the labyrinth. Ah, uh, we can pass by this door that we didn't. Oh, it's her story? Yeah, it's it's uh it's dear this is Deirdre's story. Those who wish to die, come at me. Take that. it! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Help. You also have a bunch of side quests I need to do in the future still, because I neglected them. I like I like antiquity a lot. I, I really I think it's my favorite environment book. It's very cool. I remember that character that was in the other yes a minute ago in the pink, white, and red. Yeah, Miu. Yeah, she has her own little side story thing that I've actually never completed. Oh no, Deirdre, don't die. You won't get any experience if you go down, Deirdre. All is well. This is my dance. You have her, you believe? Very nice. Very nice. Why is there a really long corridor when we're supposed to go right there? Probably should just go back and check that out, but see if Deirdre can stop that before she dies. Nope. Not. I'm sorry, Deirdre. I have let you down. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Hey, what's this? Okay, this is I guess another whole level. So we'll uh talk to that and then explore the level. I won't hold back! Uh, we'll just start doing summoners rituals to try and keep uh, Deirdre alive for the experience. After the battle is over, yeah, you have Mew at level forty-two. Very nice. Yeah, because she can she can get a five-star version as you do her uh, quest. I don't know how good her five-star version. Is. I know her another style is good. That's the problem with labyrinths. Quickly lose sense of distance and direction. No longer sure we're going the right way. Not in your main party. Yeah. Good that you have her that high leveled up when she's not even in your main party. I tend to neglect the people I'm not using in my main party. Huh? I heard something just now. A voice. A crying child. There's a little girl over there. She's facing away from us. There is indeed. Let's follow her deeper into the labyrinth. That witch is so devious conjuring a vision of a child to fool us. Ugh. Mm. Put her in the back row for a bit till you got the team you have at the moment. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I just put characters in the back row that I'm like, I might want to use. So they'll get some experience. I'm scared. Please help me. Deirdre's having visions. Deirdre, are you okay? It hurts when I look at her. It hurts like it's about to burst open. Up, up. Wait, I know her. I know that girl. Deirdre, you're making me really worried. Bug. Sorry, Aldo, I'm not myself right now. It's all right, but if it's some magic trick, why is it only affecting you? Don't know. Maybe it's aimed at me. It's all one big mystery, but at least that splitting headache has stopped. We've got to find that woman. She's got all the answers. So let's focus on that. All right, let's keep going. Hey, okay, I guess we need to just head down to the next level of the uh, the labyrinth. 
Prepare yourselves. Why are there so death. many giant lizard men in the, in, the, in the labyrinth? That's what I wonder about. Like, how do they survive down here? Do they eat the zombies? Yet I still fight. Probably shouldn't wonder about these things. I have 50 characters at the moment, five are guests. Ah, so you're Prepare working on yourselves. a couple um, episodes or symphonies. I think what that's where most of the guest characters come from, right? I still fight. Yeah. Like Deirdre, yeah, Deirdre was a guest for the first part of this uh, quest, and then she became a permanent member. Get on your knees and surrender. Very nice. The episodes are a lot of fun, I think. This is my dance. The symphonies, I, I, I enjoyed them, but I don't, I don't play any of the games that the uh, symphonies are crossovers with, so I think they're probably more exciting for people who play those games. Prepare yourselves for death. This is my dance. At least here I don't feel so much like I'm chasing things with Tiramis because the enemies are quite lower Prepare levels than my people, so they can actually Prepare. smack them down even without her. She just speeds things up. Life is You're excited for one of them if she becomes a party member after? Oh, that's cool. It's always nice to get party members that you're excited about. I put a lot of uh, work, uh, not work, I, put a lot, I, I use Cyrus a lot because I like him. He's not in this team because this is for a glance. This is the Labyrinth. Cyrus is like my favorite story character. First one I got up to four stars in, in, this, uh, in this playthrough. Good progress through the labyrinth. Really not that bad of a labyrinth, even. Do you, do you also know the other game that this has a lot of similarities with? Um, I'm not sure. Do you mean Chrono Trigger? Because I've heard of Chrono Trigger. Never played it, though. Otherwise, I, I don't know. Let's keep it up. Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Okay. Yeah, I've never played Chrono Trigger. Um... Probably should. It seems like it'd be fun. Uh, I do like I like our features. They're pretty. pretty. What is the lost? developers, designers return. worked on this Yet game. Yeah, that's that's one of the main reasons I know about it is because I think uh, I remember seeing this game being advertised as by people who worked on Chrono Trigger. This is the Although the reason I started world. playing it was I was like cats. Yes, I will play an RPG with cool-looking characters and Did cute kitties. My graceful moves? And then I found out there was no, like, system limiting how much you could run around in the world. And I went, this is the greatest mobile game ever. And then it launched on PC. Oh, this is my PC. This won't be so you difficult. love all animals? Animals are very cute. There aren't that many dogs in Mother Eden, though, and most of them look scary. Or they're getting a bit ripped off. Deirdre's down. I mean, to be expected, I, I keep letting poor Deirdre die. Wait, I think it's yes, yeah, resist. Alright, we'll do X slash instead. Oh hey, Nick is getting to the point where she can do actual damage. That's pretty good. See if I can swap her to the back and let all the Nick finish this off. I think they've got it under control. We did it! I mean, Tiramis did most of the work, but they actually, they actually did some work. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy my other characters are starting to be able to pull their weight. And it's not just Tiramis and then them basically debuffing die, the enemies so they don't kill Tiramis. That's kind of how it was for a long time. It was, uh, we ran into an, a boss or a After horror that we could actually over, fight. Only the, pain remains. the others, uh, debuff it. And then Tiramis would kill it. That is part of the reason. Well, I need. I really want to unlock Tiramis's third level of her uh, main ability, so she can even more. 
Fam. That night. I don't know when. I don't need to look at the dungeons. I don't know when I can do other lands. I need to do those together. Huh? Get more spirit for them. I may have a better spirit badge now, too. We should Those check. Wish to die, come at me. Turn! And we may have hit the cap. I think we hit the cap, probably, this on her, uh, on her second level of her summoning ritual. We have to get to the third. If you want to level up characters, you can take out a few characters and replace them with level ones and go into the dungeon and get them to pretty high levels. Uh, it's it's very nice, when you, especially when you can have like one character that can do all the work and then everyone else can just be leveling. I shall take your soul it's hard to get. Sword. It's hard to get a good team like that though, where they don't die. As as witnessed here by, I mean, this poor dear Dre just keeps no dying. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, using some extra slots to level up characters. Under attacking. Yeah, it's great. Should be able to get get her third skill skill quest at the moment. I thought I had to complete part of Ogre Wars to get it. Yeah. Look though. Party. Hermes. Let's look at it. Okay, yeah, we gotta clear chapter 31. What chapter are we on? We are on chapter 26. Okay, yeah, we do. We we have to complete some of the Ogre Wars line. Actually, I think we might need to beat the whole Ogre Wars Ogre Wars quest line. I shall take your soul with my sword. Take she's that. a pity, but she's uh she's more than competent for now. What is lost can never return. Yet I still fight. Collecting all this magical power. Okay, that's where that is. Okay, so five more chapters for me. Yeah, five more. You know, we just gotta do- we gotta just play the two knights and the holy no sword, and then five chapters of Ogre Summoner. Wars. I don't remember if Ogre Wars is actually what it's called. Okay, we found the Hooded Woman. Time to run away from the Hooded Woman. Uh, to fully explore this area, because... Take that! I like it. We are running out of, uh, out of mana, though. It's a pity, but they can handle it even without Terra. I don't think we have food, so I, I feel I've made a huge mistake. Hermes back line while everyone yeah. else. Yeah. Oh Boy's yeah! The long sword yeah, of I sin is an AOE. I forgot that. One of the symphonies has an awesome looking character and BRB. Pretty cool. This is the moment you leave this world. Uh, oops. I did not mean to use another force. <laughs> that was, uh, very sad. Did okay, you see my graceful moves? It's all good. Apparently F, F is what I use to interact with things on the map, this but also if you're in battle, world. it, uh, yeah, if you're, you can't see it, but it's the shortcut for the another force. My, uh, my thing is in front of it, so you never see it. Here, I'll show you it. See if I can move. I move my face. I'm very briefly moving my face. This is the another force bar. Uh, when it fills up to here, you can use it, and it drains as you use it. And if it fills up all the way to here and you use it, you get like special ability attacks at the end. And now I'm gonna pull it. Like it right there. Figured that's where it blocks the least information because you can't use the AFR when it's uh it's over here. Can't use it till it's over here, so it's fine if my camera's blocking this part. You know, whether it's here or above. Backline Tiramis. No long sword of sin for you. <laughs> Too efficient. Her to the back line too. Kill her. Plum Goblin's just healing itself, so convenient. I used to do this a lot with switching characters at the back to um 
to regen their MP so that this I didn't have to leave the dungeon to go get food. It's an awful lot of effort. And you could just stay yeah, and smack things. Oh. It's easier- oh, poor dude. It's easier when, um, when the enemies Sit aren't down. too strong. A lot harder you when have to keep going. Let's see. Okay. That looks like- oh no, no, we missed part of the- this part of it over there. We'll have to go back and check that out before we go talk to the hooded woman. I wonder what causes a huge ghost as opposed to a regular ghost. Maybe they're not like people ghosts. Just an entity. This is a huge ghost. These are the kind of things that there is no answer for, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Ah, you rude plum goblin. Stop healing. Take this is my dance. Hi. More Miglan's magic. We're gonna need a bunch of that. It's it's a nuisance, but it must be done because we want to You're the tool to challenge this, me. Uh, this quest. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm too late. I forgot to put in the back, but it's fine. I can just smack these down. There we go. Okay. Now we can talk to the hooded woman. Fully explored this level of the labyrinth. I won't hold back. And this time I'll remember to switch her to the back. And two. And Deirdre. If yeah, she doesn't yeah. die first. Ah, it's your lucky day, Deirdre. You didn't die. Good. Plenty of mana regen. Back. Welcome back, Dark Vesta. This is my dance. Which of the symphony characters is the one you think is awesome? I'm curious. I won't hold back. Okay, we can regen a little more mana on Tiramis while these guys uh oh. while Deirdre dies tragically apparently. He oh, gets knocked yes. unconscious. Stop saying they're dying when they're not, but we have to keep it is going. my nature. It is what I do. Last, we may talk to the hooded one. Not a playable as a character as far as you know, but he looks amazing. Oh, it's sad when there's a character and you're like, that character is so cool, and they're not playable. Sad. This magic seal is incredibly complex. I guess that's 300 years of trials for you. Stop right there. Ah. Who, who are you? You scared the daylights out of me. Are you the maker of this demon sword? <sighs> Tell me how to unseal its true power. What? Er, demon sword? What are you talking about? Swords aren't my field of specialization. I'm a mage, you see. Liar, if you have nothing to do with my sword, then why did you come after me? Hey, you got it the wrong way around. It's you who followed me in. Dot, dot. You're right, I got carried away. You're a mage, can you at least take a look at this sword? There's some strange spell on it, I think. It can absorb magic power all right, but something's blocking it from releasing it. Hmm, color me interested. Let's see, hmm. Ah, that's it, of course. It can't use magic power. Here to explain. You see, it's not a demon sword right now. Nonsense, I know for a fact that it is. Don't interrupt. I said right now, didn't I? It definitely used to be one, and a powerful one at that. There are vestiges of ancient magic in it. my theory is correct, it should be possible to restore it to its previous form. Well, that's a relief. Will you let me finish? So it's not going to be easy. It's a very complicated process, in fact. First, you'll need to go to the Moonlight Forest. Moonlight Forest, got it. I'll head there right away. Must prove your power once more. Mirror room awaits you. Truth is within reach. That voice again. What's that, Deirdre? You're hearing voices. Ugh, and here I thought you two seemed like people I could rely on. Used up all my magic power getting here and can use some help getting back. Well, you should have planned ahead then, don't you think? Anyhow, since you're going to help me with Bear Wheel, I can lend you a hand too. Excuse me. If we can only restore its power, this door might open as well. Much appreciated. Let's go to the Moonlight Forest. 
now I shall use the mythical power of the map. Travel to the Moonlight Forest without having to walk through the stupid dungeon. Once it loads. Like my purple party, she wears purple, she is purple, and she has purple hair. Moonlight Forest. That is where we need to go. Oh, right inside the Moonlight Forest, too. How very convenient. Although the Moonlight Forest is very tiny and so very weak. I do love it, though. Beautiful. Don't keep me in the dark, mage. Call it by its right name, Mystic Teleportation Device. <laughs> what exactly do I need to do to restore my demon sword? I'm in a hurry, so tell me the quickest way. Ease up on her, Deirdre. I get it that you want power, but you're being really pushy. Got this feeling of impending doom, you know, and it's getting worse with every day. Just feel it in my bones that I've got to act fast or I'll lose something that I'll regret for the rest of my life. I also wish to get this done as soon as possible, but I don't think these guys want to let us go. Oh no. Regular plum goblins. Ah, they must have a death wish to stand in my way. I'll make short work of them. Feel free to join in, all though. Sorry. Neither of you get to do anything. I mean, at least they're in the party. But they're too slow. This is my dance. That went pretty fast, huh? No, there's more. Nero! Quite observant. Well done. However, here's a fair warning. I'm stronger than you. Do you want to challenge me now? Dot dot dot. Normally I wouldn't walk away from a battle, but right now I'm in a hurry. Got no time to waste on you, but next time you'll get a taste of my sword. Oh, how dispiriting to be called a waste of time. Oh well. What are you in such a hurry for? None of your business. The way you talk, it's as if all you want to do is alienate. Deep inside, you have this urge to protect someone. No, I just... How fascinating. That fire in your eyes is worth more than any treasure in this world. Dot, dot, dot. Honest with myself, I love all things beautiful and despise everything that is ugly. How I feel about things dictates how I act. Who the heck are you? I'm Nero, sewer of beauty and the strongest fist fighter you'll ever come across. That is just not true, Nero. You're stuck as a four star, which is really tragic. Oh wow, who was that handsome fel fellow? Introduce me next time. Ahem. Hold up the sword and let it bathe in the moonlight. Why? The light of the moon has an esoteric power. It will amplify the magic dormant in your sword. Got you. All right, here goes. The ground fog was in the air. Going blue this time. Well done. Is this Bear Whale's true form? Dot, dot, dot. You don't look too impressed, Deirdre. Um, to be honest, I don't feel any power from it. Well, duh, it's because now it's a proper demon sword, you see? It's starved for magic power. You won't feel any difference until you feed it. Ah, I guess that makes sense. So now we go back to the labyrinth and feed it monster souls. That'll work, but first, a word of caution. This sword was originally created with the power to fulfill its master's wish. Using it binds it to you, making you its master. It will fulfill your wish, but at a price. That price will be what's most important to you. 175 more Chrono Stones to, to go till you get a new temple. Oh, that's exciting. I mean, it kind of sucks when you gotta get those last few ones, but it's, it's also very exciting when you get to do one. That's fine. I have nothing to lose to begin with. Thought you'd say that. Good luck with it. I'll be going back home. Getting your sword back up and running was a stimulating challenge for me. Maybe we'll chance upon each other again someday. Goes. Guess we didn't go far into the forest, and she's a mage, so she'll be fine. Back to the labyrinth. Let's go, Aldo. Got to harvest monster souls to get that door open. Okay, harvesting monster souls is uh, quite boring. But let's see how if we have enough. Menu. Records. Uh, episodes. Because if we have enough, we can just go back to the door, but if I need to grind some... Oh, that right now. 
Okay, we do have enough. We do have enough for the door. Time to head back there. Oh no, lagging. Do you not like the way the Steam version lags every single time you open the map? It causes me minor stress <laughs> every single time. Move to Union. Oh no, we have to run all the way down the all the way down the labyrinth again. Place is cursed. Yes, I'd like to rest, please. Want to know what would really cause you stress? What is it? Can be completely restored. Famous Imperial Soup. It'll warm you right up. Thank you for the Imperial Bean Soup. I must go into the labyrinth. That is not the direction of the labyrinth. Hey, there's more quests here now. I think some of those are character quests. I have only done a few of the character quests. Having the game crush crash to desktop every time you switch moves with Rika in your group? That sounds terrible! Oh gosh! Since you're with the Royal Order and we could use some help bringing the Labyrinth monsters under control, I'll let you pass. There's a rumor people get lost inside and never make it back out again. Be careful in there. Yeah, I luckily have not experienced that kind of a issue. That, that sounds really, really unpleasant. I guess at least, uh, there's more healers than Rika. <laughs> what is lost can never Actually, a bug that occurs in both the mobile fight. and PC port. Interesting, I've never encountered it on either. And I did, I did use, um, because I originally played through, well, I still play on mobile, uh, but I played through uh, the whole original story on launch, and I did use Rika a lot. Uh, and I never had that happen, actually. I must be very lucky. Count yourself lucky then with that? Yeah. I, I, I think I am quite lucky, to be honest. I'm, I'm a very lucky person in, in another Eden. I did have an issue where on, on here where it would crash every time I tried to talk to the golem um, to get to the Tower of Stars. Uh, but reacquiring data and checking like the, the download files, uh, that fixed it. I don't know why it fixed it, but it did. So I was like, oh no. Am I gonna have to start over because I'm stuck at this this golem? But it worked out. Because I am a lucky person. I don't know if Grimthorpe 101 is still Grimthorpe is Grimthorpe 101 is our lucky uh lucky lucky charm for character pulls because we got our five star Tiramis. This is uh, when he told me to pull on a banner. And we got Nakoko. Didn't have that issue with the golem, surprisingly. I think it was something wrong with the game data. Like, I think it was missing some data or something, and that's why it wasn't working. Um, I, I don't think that's a common problem. Uh, so, which which is good. It was it was very confusing. Hog champ Grimthorpe. Yes, you are lucky, Grimthorpe. We've gotten some pretty good pulls when you tell me to do them. You're a fool to challenge me. Attack these guys. After the battle is over, only the pain remains. Okay. Three. Okay, we just need that way to get down again. Level. Yeah, it is. We gotta go down to the fourth, fourth basement level. Brace yourselves. We're using Summoner's Gift. We're not supposed to be using Summoner's Gift. I'm wasting MP. Just using Summoner's Ritual. The most damage we can do with the littlest, littlest MP use is the most efficient way to get through these horribly long places. Attack! Beautiful. Tiramis is great. I was at one point like, nah, I won't, I won't rely on Tiramis. And then I realized how very convenient it is to quickly buy, quickly defeat all the like little random enemy attacks. And I went, never mind, we're relying on Tiramis. Brace yourselves. She speeds this up so much. Life is nothing but falling flowers. It is amazing. Okay, this is the correct level. 
I believe the next one for the the magic, the next magic. You only need to feed the door. Well, I guess feed the sword to show the door. That one might be uh, a bit much. Remember, this is my dance. Ah, uh, we're on floor. Floor five, basement five, I guess. This is the moment to leave this. It's world. going down. Keep under Unigan and England's castle. Into this place. Use your sword. I love how perfect it is. I don't know if uh, I don't I don't know why purple armor is never anything. I mean, I assume it's because metal doesn't come in purple, but uh, purple armor should be a thing. What revelations do you have for me this time? Uh, I assume it's going to summon another mist golem, probably. So that's what it did last time. Come on, ready to face whatever it is you've got. We have tears. Yep, another mist golem. Another trial. Don't you know how quests work, Aldo? We always have to fight something. Except, like, that one time when we didn't, and that was surprising. Debuff, uh, backline. Right, it was gonna smack Deer Trying Killer. <laughs> but luckily, it did not. Slash. Spin. It's down. Good work. Good work, my little people. And now we're allowed through this door. Next level of the uh, labyrinth. You have proven your strength. You may see the essence of truth. Ah, another vision. This demon sword possesses tremendous power. It will save her life when death seems certain. Deirdre, are you all right? Deirdre. Huh? What happened? You just completely froze after defeating the guardian of the door. Did we fail or something? No, we did all right. I had another vision. I just can't make sense of it. I am the one who speaks the truth, awaiting you on the other side of this door. That's good. Background. Deirdre. I'm okay, just exhausted from all that fighting. How about we go back outside now? No, please, please don't take me outside. Agreed, we found enough new clues for now. No, I just walked all the way here. I just walked all the way there. Please, somebody help me. Can anybody hear me? Please save her, please. No, oh, I have to walk all the way back down again? Maybe there's something to do up. up. Unigan. Quest complete. Okay. She's level three now. Magic Knight. Okay. Now we need to go here. There's a bunch of character quests here that we can work on. Till we meet again, so long. Deirdre has restored the demon sword to full power, but there seems to still be something left on her mind. We're just gonna run this one until we hit a wall or finish it. Whichever comes first. Hey, Aldo. You've been tagging along with Deirdre a lot lately. There's something I'd like to ask you about her. Wouldn't call it tagging along, but what do you want to know? What did she do this time? Nothing, and that's the strangest bit. She used to cause nothing but problems, but there's been no complaints about her lately like the quiet before a storm. Not that I want her to suddenly act up again. You know what's going on with her. Nothing comes to mind. What is this? An interrogation? You trying to get some dirt on me from him? How unusual for you to come and see me. Dot dot dot. Didn't come here to have an argument. No? Are you sick? Is this really you or an imposter? I don't recognize you without your usual hostility. It's you always picking fights with me. Anyway, today I'm not in the mood for that. Huh, I don't know what to think anymore. Although, I'd like your advice on something. Sure. 
The demon sword has been whispering to me. If you want answers, you must find that child. What child? Oh, I know. Maybe it's the girl we saw in the labyrinth. Wasn't that just an illusion? Wait a second. Are you just going to do what the demon sword's telling you without questioning it? What's wrong with that? What's not wrong with that? It's a demonic weapon. It could be evil, you know? I'll take that risk, thank you. You can tell the Knight Commander that whatever happens, I brought it upon myself. Fine, I will. You should really think about what you're about to do. It's insane. I was a fool, for hoping you might be changing for the better. I'll make the effort to be nice to you despite your taunts, and this is what you get. You must really hate me. Anyway, so the Demon Sword wants you to find that little girl. Yeah, I don't know why, but it seems to be very urgent. I have this feeling in my bones that I have to hurry or it'll be too late. Alright, if you want, I can help you. We go back to the labyrinth again? Oh, I got I got pulled out of the labyrinth and I need to go right back to the labyrinth. This is not fair. This is outrageous. Labyrinth is so cruel. Excuse me, guard. We have places to go. Don't run through this whole thing. We have food. We have food. Okay. Let's run through this, and then and then we'll find out how much magic power we need to open the door, and uh, probably work on that later. Prepare yourself. That'll be boring. Okay. That'll just be running around killing these guys. Yeah, we can uh, swap tier back, I guess. So, uh, well, actually, if we're gonna fight an enemy, we're gonna eat before him anyway, so it doesn't matter. He'll just run down here. This way, I guess you can kind of go either way here, it doesn't really matter, they're the same distance. But I like to go this way. Attack! Oh, I should, I should actually see if her uh, longsword of sin can clear this. What is lost will never return, quest. yet I still fight. Her quests are in antiquity! My favorite time. Time period. Okay. Dang, this labyrinth is not, not the most pleasant. I guess it is a labyrinth. So, uh, I should I should probably just be glad that it's not more horribly maze-like. Okay, she can't wipe them with one sort of sin. After the battle is over, only the pain remains. We can try, though. Your Dre's actually got a pretty good voice, I think. Let's see. Dang, why is it so far away? Why must it be so hard to reach the stairs? It's like every time I go all the way to the bottom, and then the game is like, Haha! Time to go back to the surface. We have it's to being keep cruel. Going. It's playing. It's toying with me. Why must you do this to me, game? That's fine. I, lo I love another Eden anyway. Because it's pretty, and it has casts, and I find the combat enjoyable. Even if I, uh, try to brute force it a lot of the time. It is, a it is quite a nice experience, I think. That's why I enjoy talking about it, and I keep forgetting to change up what I'm doing. But that's fine, it because it actually works that time. Down. Okay, this is the one where we gotta go over there, and then go down again. All is well. I think I need to co finish collecting the present and future cats, because I don't have all of them. <gasps> I have all of the antiquity cats, at least return. all the antiquity cats I, I can still currently fight. access. I think there's some cats I might need to uh, use the synth hydra to be able to get to. Because I haven't visited those areas yet. I need to get some more, but some better weapons and armor for my poor people, we have to keep so they going. can uh, do a better job of supporting Tiramis against bosses. Doesn't need the help with uh, regular. She definitely does with the bosses once they get more health. Not handle them on her own anymore. Her, her uh, fixed damage starts to be a problem then. Though the fact that she bypasses armor still uh, still makes her very useful for things where I don't have a good uh, setup. 
And when we really need to, we just bring in the Coco to support her. Pretty much just not using the Coco because it was so good. Here we go. Here's the next thing. This is the moment you leave this world. Out of mana, so we'll do some years ritual. Take that! What is lost can never return. Yet I see. Yeah, very good. Let's see what this. Guess we're looking for that child. Not sure. Maybe it was just an illusion after all. What secrets are you keeping from me, Sword? What do you want me to do? I wonder why it wants you to find that girl. You know her? There may be some connection between you two. No, I don't know any kids that age. Something tells me that I, once I met her... Sorry, I mispronounced that. But something tells me once I, once I meet her, I'll be able to get back what I've lost. But isn't it kind of weird? The mage told us that if you got the sword's power back, you'd lose what's most important to you. You'd be losing something, not getting it back. Yeah, it's contradictory, I know. Huh? Although, over there. It's the girl. Hello, I'm so glad someone's found me. Please help my sister, she's not well. She hurt. Yes, there's so much blood. That sounds serious, where is she? She's that way. Not this again, the headache is back. Just like when I'm looking at her makes my head throb with pain. I'm not turning back now that we're so close to the truth. Yeah, and down to the next level. Kind of saddens me that as soon as you open a door, it like immediately takes you away and starts like go through it. Is that a mirror? There's no reflection, even though it's crystal clear. Huh, that's strange. There used to be a big shiny hole here that I came out of, but now it's gone. Oh, you mean a portal? Hear me, seeker of the truth. Who's there? You heard it too this time, Aldo. Who are you, voice? Was it you giving me orders before? Indeed, it was I. I am the mirror of the truth. Adventurers of twisted fates, is it truth you seek? Is the mirror talking to us? Of course, we want to know the truth, Mirror. Show me what connects me and this girl. Mr. Mirror, I have to return to my village. Please let me go back to where I'm from. Very well. Your will is strong and purpose clear. I shall answer the call of your sword. And go back to your home and save your sister. I guess I just need to turn souls harvested by Virwill into magic power, right? Probably, but be on your guard. There's no telling what will happen. We'll go when you're ready. I'll wait here. Please come back soon. You're back. They removed or lessened the uh, magic requirements for this. I remember having to farm it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, Deirdre, do your thing. Here goes. Mirror, I'm ready. Only the three of you will be allowed to pass through. Hundred left? Ah, you're, get you're getting close. Shall ask one last time. You seek the truth. Deirdre and Aldo will be the only party members from here on. Continue anyway. Uh, no, let me make sure I, uh... Let me make sure I give them some gear so they will, uh, be competent in case they have to fight something. Uh, let's also feed Deirdre any scrolls we have. I normally feed them to Nakoko, but... Let's see. We'll give her a nice, nice sword. Armor. Gauntlets. We have, like, a nice power badge. Oh, 15 power. Okay, we have this badge. Although, what's he got? He probably have a better sword? Maybe? I'm not sure. No, uh, no, I think he may still have the best sword I have. How oh, is his other? Okay, he can get a better bangle. Better badge. Not here. He can have this endurance badge. There we go. 
Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. <laughs> I nearly forgot something very important. Uh, I don't want to switch out of here. I nearly forgot to level her skills. That would, um, not be ideal. But she would be pretty useless. Armed those XP badges a while back. This XP badges are very handy. I often forget to move them around onto the characters I want them on, but they're super useful. I didn't mean to kill, but I need Deirdre's abilities so that she's not useless in a fight. Unlocking skills is a bit boring. Three star right now. When we complete the next part, she'll be a four star. There. Got her entire, entire three star board done. Okay, now we're ready. I break it. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but it, it's apparently not broken, so all is well. Is this the same conversation? Yeah, this is the same conversation? Okay. Here, Dre and all the only party members from here on and continue anyway. Yes, please. We do, so hurry up and show it to us. I guess for anyone that has not played the uh, two knights and the magic sword, uh, they're probably about to have spoilers for it. This is close to the end. You may wish to not watch that. Behold the truth, the truth, powerful one. This is it, the hole just like before. I hope my sister is alright. We're coming to help you, sis. It's a wormhole, just as I thought, so she's come from another time. I'm saying this is a door to the past. That means this girl might be an adult in our time. Deirdre, we've got to act quickly. Let's go. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm ready for this. Oh dear. Fire. I like that this fire is just blazing right next to this bucket and thing of straw, and neither of them are on fire. Any idea where this is? I've never been to this village before. Arg. Splitting headache again. Lady, are you okay? Memories are flooding in. Mm. Deirdre, what's going on? Huff huff. I, I know this place. I saw it. A whole wave of memories swept over me. So it's a village from your past. Yes, I was born here. It's my hometown, which was destroyed by beasts. I understand now. I know what I must do. Looky here, more humans. Must have missed those the first time around. And that kid's back. Stupid brat, what'd you return here for? They're the ones that hurt my sister. Make them pay for that. Save my sister. Aha, you'll regret coming out of your hidey holes, cowards. They're coming. Don't have Tiramis to deal with them. Those who wish to die, come at me. This is a tragedy of epic proportions. Put your trays down. Come on, Aldo. You got this. I believe in you. Minus. I guess the fact that he's a four star and a higher level than them. It will it will help him to achieve victory, hopefully. This is the end. Yeah, we did it. Lots of slicing with his sword, Aldo has saved the day. Your time has come. You're not even worthy prey for my sword. You're so strong. Dot dot dot. Where's your injured sister? Come this way, please. Please help her. You can't do this. What? We can't help your sister. Don't say that now, you promised. What's gotten into you? This is what we came here for, isn't it? There's nothing I can do. It's 
all in your hands, girl. How can you say that? Whatever. I hate you, you hear? Will you help me, mister? Yes, yeah, sure, if there's anything I can do. Thank you. Follow me. <laughs> I know he was, like, I guess supposed to be looking at her like, what are you doing, but... But it was really funny. Yeah, I can talk to her. Dot, dot, dot. Not much to say. Tiny little, uh... Story stage, I guess. Hurry this way. Those are some big claw marks. She's here. Wake up, talk to me. Why won't you open your eyes? Ugh. That chest wound is not looking good. She's still breathing, but... Mister, can you help her, please? Please say something. She's not gonna me- Who's there? Are you from this village? My business is not with you. I'll speak only with the girl. What? Okay. Who are you? Can you please help my sister? Unfortunately, that is not within my power. Sorry. Talk to my mechanical device. But then... There is someone who can save her, though. You. Me? What can I do? I'm weak, not like my sister. This demon sword possesses tremendous power. It will save her life when death seems certain. It can really do that? It can. However, there is one condition. You will need to give up what is most precious to you in order to wield the sword. I don't really understand, but if I say yes, will my sister be okay? She will be, but think twice before making your decision. If you use this sword, you will become bound to it. This demonic blade will become entwined with your fate. The future will be cursed with hardships you can scarcely imagine. Take it or leave it. It's your choice. Let me tell you something, though. You're not special. There will be times when you have to fight by any means you've got if you are to protect what matters to you. There will be people calling what you do disgraceful. Don't let that bring you down. Hold your chin up high. You don't need others' approval for your way of life. But don't be afraid. You'll be all right. You can overcome anything life throws your way. You can trust me on that. Let's go, Aldo. It's up to her now. Huh? How do you know my name? Wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on? Who are you? It's me. What? Why were you wearing a disguise, Deirdre? Demon Sword spoke to me. The beginning and the end of the truth I was desperate for came together here. If I had strayed from the events of the past, the future as I know it might have been erased. That's why I had to make sure she obtained the Demon Sword at this point. Okay, another thing I don't get. You said you were not going to help your help her sister. Then you changed your mind. What's that about? I'm not doing anything. She will have to take care of it herself. But can she? She's just a little girl. Don't worry, she'll be just fine. What we should be doing now is trying to find a way back to our time period. All right, but promise to explain everything to me later. I'm scared, but... Only I can help my sister. Ah. No, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. No, that's not right. The sword must be testing me. I have to be strong. My name is Verwell. Verwell? You already know that the moment you take me into your hand, you are bound to me as I am to you. I shall fulfill your wish. Are you ready to pay the price? I don't know how to pay it. There's nothing more important to me than my sister. Ow. It hurts? It hurts so much. Well done, enduring the pressure of my magic power. I should like to hear your name, my, mas my master. It's Deirdre. Deirdre, I shall fulfill your wish. 
Thank you. It's always been my sister looking after me. Now I can do something for her. Please bear well, save my sister. Save Annabelle. Disappeared. Ugh, what happened? Ended up on the Serena coast. Wake up, Deirdre. Ugh, where am I? I have taken the payment for making your wish come true. Huh? Who are you? My name is Verwill, the demon sword dwelling in this time loop. How did I get here? I can't remember anything. That's because you have agreed to give up what was most important to you. What are you talking about? What have we got here? A human brat. Not very smart to be walking around all on her own. Heh <laughs> heh. Ah. Help, sis. Huh? Who was I? Cat following you at the moment is Vigo. I, I, I love that, collecting the different cats and having them follow me. I've got- I forgot her name, but she's a calico. No one will hear your cries for help. No one lives around here. Don't come near me. Stay away. Fight them, Deirdre. Use my power. I am your companion from now forever. Forever on. Hmm. What the? Where'd she get that sword from? Not scared of a little kid with a weapon comically big for her size, are you? She'll fall over if she takes a swing. I have to believe in myself. Vigo looks like a mini tiger. Oh, that's cute. Is he one of the, um, or she? I'm not sure if it's a boy cat or boy cat, but that's one of the uh, antiquity kids, right? I have to believe in myself. And overcome any obstacle in my way. Uh, we get to pop back out over here. Phew, we made it back. I hope that girl was okay in the end. I can vouch for that. She was me, back before I got my demon sword. The hooded woman I saw in the flashbacks was none other than myself. Wait a second. The girl had a sister, though. That's Annabelle. I lost all memories of her until now. Annabelle is your sister. It finally makes sense why I hated her so much at first sight. The thing that was most important to me when I obtained Verwill was our sisterly bond. That was the price I paid for my wish. But the love turned to hate without you even knowing why. Got her in Unigan. Oh, that's cool. Because I, I was going to say, I think a lot of the more big cat looking ones are in antiquity, but there is there is some in, in the present as well. So the love turned to hate without you even knowing why. I already read that. <laughs> All of my memories of her were erased. How ironic. She was the reason I sealed the deal with the demon sword, yet I forgot her. What a story. I'd like to hear more, but let's go outside. No more reason for us to hang out in this creepy labyrinth. Yes, please, let's leave the labyrinth. Sure, it's been a long journey, huh? Although, I, how do, how to put it? Huh? I'm really grateful that you kept me company through all of this. I'll pay you back somehow. This whole time loop thing got me thinking. It was meeting you unavoidable. Were we just dancing to the tune of fate? It makes no difference the way I see it. And besides, what re what's really extraordinary is that you met Annabelle again. Yeah, I've been so hard on her for being such a stiff-necked paladin going on about chivalry and honor. Now I kind of understand her point of view. From now on, I won't fight just for myself. I'll fight for others. Battles that only someone like me can win. Okay, so this time it wants me to leave. But it did not make me leave. Why are you so inconsistent? Bye. I love this kitty. I don't remember where I collected her. So cute. And actually, one of my other favorite cats is, um, I can't remember her name, but she lives in the Vasu Mountains. Like, red. Okay. You do one thing out of habit from RPGs, and that's healing before a big fight. I am prone to forgetting to do that. I, I try, but uh, I frequently forget. I, uh, I do play a lot of RPGs, but not so many, uh, JRPGs. I used to play 
so I'm not as used to it. Complete this quest. It, it is good to always heal up before a big fight. It, it makes things so much more manageable. Have you played Dis Disguy, Disguy before? Uh, if you can tell by my inability pr to pronounce it, I have not. <laughs> Feels like we've been gone for ages. It's good to breathe fresh air. Finally found your way out. Beginning to worry, you've gotten lost. Maybe you were just having a blast down there. No worries, Annabelle. We're done with the labyrinth and won't be going down there again. Yes, we do. Where's your usual venom? Is this a new tactic, pretending to be friendly? Anyway, I had something to announce to you. I duly reported your intention of following the will of the Demon Sword. What did the commander say to that? As long as you keep that sword in your possession, you're not... Wait a moment, where is your where is your sword gone? There's two pronunciations for the game. Disgaea or Disgaea. Uh, I've never I've never known how to pronounce it. I, I struggle with pronouncing things though. It's where it's needed. It's of no use to me anymore. Oh, well that's fine then. Why are you staring at me? Is there something on my face? The injury to your chest leave a bad scar. No, it's just a faint mark. How did you know about that? Never mind, I'm just glad you healed up all right. You're acting very strange. Are you unwell? If you're sick, I can send for a medic. Don't go back to being a walking disaster again. Da, 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 sister. So happy you're alive, dear Annabelle. You don't want to tell her the truth. Not like her memories would come back. At best, she'll think it's a bad joke. This may be awkward, but if you wouldn't mind, tend to be her for a minute so I can just get it all off my chest. Dot, dot, dot. You've gone through a lot, Deirdre. I'm proud of you. Annabelle, sniff. I was a mess. Sorry you had to see that, but I'm alright now. Lost the bond we had, but at least I now have my cherished memories back. From now on, I'll support Annabelle without her needing to know. You're a very strong woman, Deirdre. Don't give me that. I am what I need to be to survive. Farewell, farewell. You've been my companion for half my lifetime. Couldn't have made it this far without you. Stepped out of the time loop and had to leave you behind. Don't worry about me. I have found new friends. Please take good care of the little me back in the past. Quest complete! Now she's a four star character! Fancy! Oh, hey! I'm going to assume this is Vigo right here! Hello there! It is! Oh, look at Vigo! Adorable! Here's my current cat. Oh gosh! So many cats I don't have access to. Here's my cat, Abisha. Abisha comes from the Lalu Dome. Okay, we did that. So now we can go back to back to Grandpa. And I think finally start part part uh, two. Well not part two. Ogre Wars is part 1.5. In part one, then there's 1.5, then there's part two. Part Part 1.5 has two parts, and part 2 has a lot of parts. It has three parts, and each of those parts have parts, I, I think is how it works. In the Ogre Wars Part 1. Yes, that's that's all I wanted to do today. I just wanted to I just wanted to start that and then do some stuff. But uh, we ended up doing the whole magic night thing instead. And now we're here. Well, we were forced to take down Eden and Chrono Sombra, but. Oh yeah, there's some spoileries here. Uh, we may wish to depart. Isn't there something we can do to save them? Professor Kronos and Madoka's sake. Indeed, we must do everything within our power to save him, to save our lost future. Also seems like Fine saved Altana and the Beast King and subconsciously with her power. We gotta look for them too. Right, but where are we even supposed to start? If only we had some kind of hint to lead us closer to them. Have you not heard, Aldo? There are rumors of some strange happenings at an ancient battlefield. People are hearing noises, like screams coming from somewhere, even though the fields have long been barren and abandoned. 
Also, something about a mysterious shadow floating around, appearing and disappearing. Ancient Battlefield. Yes, many thousands of years ago, to the east of the Duskin Lands, it is said there was a terrible battle. Blood from the fallen monsters flowed like a river across the land. Countless skulls are said to still remain buried deep in the ground. Duskin Lands, home of the Beast King's Castle. Seems that is where we shall commence our journey next. Cyrus is the closest to having voice acting because he makes that little frog sound every time he has a line. Right, another journey and another adventure. Let us proceed, although the world is awaiting us. We have no time to waste here. Although we have to find Altana and the Beast King, there's not a moment to lose. What do you say, but we're probably going to go and play side quests now. Okay, everyone, it's let's go. It's time to begin our next adventure. Yeah, they definitely, like, removed or lowered the caps on the magic. Magic knight thing. Wretched humans, thinking they can do as they please. No entry for us beast folk, huh? How dare they? This forest used to belong to us. What's that sound? Da Ildna. Ildna. Who is that? Who's calling my name? So it was you, the one who was calling me. Who are you? Gildna, this is your chance. A chance to start over. You don't have to spend 16 years of your life as the hateful Beast King. You walk a new path. What? Beast King? 16 years of my life. Start again. What are you talking about? Just who are you? Answer me. Please, Gildna, do this for yourself and for Altena. Wait, you've... Explosion of light. Oh, that water sound is lovely. Where am I? What is going on? Um, so beautiful. That snake skull mes... Mes... Mesquita? Quita? Would you make this snake bone island? Hey, you over there. Could that be? Hmm? It is. I knew it. Gildna, it's really you. So you were brought back to this world again as well. Oh, I'm so glad. I can't believe it's true. Hmm? Wait. Why? Wait a minute. You can't be Altena. That's impossible. Altena is still more no more than a child. There's no mistaking it. I'm the real Altena, horns and all. You're the one who's really changed. Look at you. You've come back so young looking. I still don't fully understand what's happening, however. That girl said some strange things about me changing my time as the Beast King and making a new path. A new path? A girl. That must have been Fine. I figured she must have been behind this. She must have saved us using the Geoprisma's power. Thank you, Fine. Thank you for saving my brother and giving us another chance. It seems she brought you back to the time when you met. Still able to be something other than the Beast King. Seeing you here now, as your younger self, it feels so strange. So it really is you, isn't it, Altena? I too did not expect to meet with you like this, so grown up. Anyway, this Fine, what she said about starting my life again, was it really true? I think she knew there was more to you than just the Gildna who waged war with humans. She has an eye for seeing the good in people. I'll introduce you to her someday. Please don't eat cardboard, kitty. I see, thank you. I can't choose on her cardboard box. In that case, I will not squander this chance I have been given. It's time to write a new chapter in my life, carve another dream upon this planet. One that will be remembered long after I have gone, not as the Beast King, but as Gildna. I don't know if Gildna is actually how you say his name, but that's how I say it. This water is so low. Clouds. The environments are just spectacular. Well, I mean, like, the labyrinth could get a little boring and same-ish, but... The outside areas are usually quite nice. There we go. 
Record Chapter 26, Friends, Brother, Additional Main Story Campaign, Start Main Story, okay. I guess we want to, why do we have, oh, this is from the magic, magic stuff. Okay, wait, actually, I think this, yeah, this is for starting it. Okay, we'll get to do that. Menu, dreams. We've got a free light fire, a five, a free five star light random character off of this from up to a certain point. I think it might be up to me. Yes, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna grab that, I guess. See what we get. What excitement shall we have? I'll let it actually do. Got Claude. I am Claude. Rightful heir to the kingdom of Kerikel. We are a kingdom with no lands nor citizens, but I shall restore it without failure. That is the burden of a king. I did not expect him to have this accent. You think that I speak of silly dreams? I guess that is to be expected. There will come a time when you too will believe. Okay. His accent uh, caught, caught me off guard quite a bit. There we go. Claude, we have Fine. I think everything's going pretty well. Um, I've been streaming for two hours, which is kind of long for me, so I think I will depart now. Um, thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you, Dark Desta, for, for uh, visiting, and Grimthorpe, and we had one other person, Stuff Stuffersaurus. Thank you for coming by. Everyone else, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>